I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. You are. You are. With you. you. Are. With me. You are. Shall I put that in? No, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You do the editing, so you do what you want. I know. A lot of people think you do the editing when I add some silly stuff that I've done. When in actuality, actually, actually, I do the editing, but I, I get Jim's input. Second opinion. If he says, leave it in, I leave it in. If he says, take it out, I take it out. So, <laughs> this may be in, and it may be out, I don't know. But, hi everyone, <laughs> I know I'm going to say it. He's going, hi. Yeah, it's time. It's time to say hello. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday's video, I got a lot of response for it. So it must be it's a topic that people like to hear and talk about. Um, when I was growing up, we didn't hear anything about it. In fact, the advertisements were so vague that I had no idea what was going on in the world. But today, kids know everything because they show everything. So I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But before I get on to anything important... <laughs> This is all important. Actually, everything's important. Um, what I wanted to tell you is, when I watch the Clutter Fairy, she suggests, and it does work. If you ever notice, whenever you clean a room, what do the, where do the kids go to play in that clean space? So what she suggests is find a space that is in your house, if you can, that is nice and clean. And you sit there and just feel. How do you feel in that space? And that's your goal to, to aim for the rest of your house, to try to get it to feel that way. If you don't have a spot in your house that makes you feel that way, you can go outside, sit under a tree, go on a park bench and sit in the park. Or you can go into a store even and sit in their, in their display area where they have their furniture and they're nicely arranged. Or even like... A lot of times the kitchen is, feels really good. Like when you go into displays at the like the lumber stores, they have the kitchen displays. You could stand in there or sit in there and see how you feel. And that's what they say you should aim for when you're decluttering your house or trying to decide if it's junk or if it's to keep or go kind of stuff. Everything, Nothing's junk, I don't think. <laughs> Everything has a purpose. It's just that the purpose may have run out. Also, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but I have. Whereas if you take a picture of a room, just take take your camera out and take a picture. And then look at the picture. And you know, you'll see things that you didn't realize were even there. Or if somebody's coming to your house, all of a sudden you see everything that shouldn't be where it, sh where it is. Those are the things that should be moved and taken out. But a photograph will tell you without having company. Because a lot of people don't get company anymore, especially now people don't visit. It's sort yeah. of sad. I remember every Sunday was go and visit. And so we used to go to the relative's house and because it, I was in a time when you never went to the house in your play clothes. You always wore your church clothes or your go-to-school clothes or your Sunday best. And when you got there, you could change into your play clothes, but you always had to go in your better clothes. So even shopping, I wasn't allowed to shop in slacks. I had to wear a skirt and or a dress. I had to dress up to go shopping. That's crazy. People don't do that today. I see now people, they're in their pajamas. I know. I've seen people in their pajamas or their sweatpants, and a lot of people are getting sloppy with their dress, especially now with... Um, not going out very much. You'd think they'd dress up just knowing that they're going to go out so they put something nice on, but they don't. Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about foods that are good for those of us that are in menopause. And we we were brought up into in a time where fat is demonized. Well, we need the fat for our brains and we need it for our cells. And, Disclaimer. Well, Oh, disclaimer, okay. <laughs> just, I am not a cover. doctor. I am not a nurse. I am not a medical professional. I or am, a nutritionist. Or a nutritionist. I'm just Nona Grace. 
is who I am. One who's lived a long life and has heard a lot of stuff in her life and has, has done, take, a lot of research. done a lot of research and I've taken things that my parents have done and my parents lived to be very, very up in years. My father was 93 and my mother was just short of 90. And we were brought up on foods that really are should be eaten today, but people don't eat them because the um, people that are supposed to know what's good for us said fat is bad. So a lot of people were on low-fat diets and trying to stay away from as much fat as possible. Well, there are good fats and there are bad fats. And the good fats are in your eggs, even though they say you don't eat more than, whatever, one egg a week or something like that, some craziness. I eat eggs, and yeah. I'm not as often as I should, because I have lots of eggs. I can eat eggs all the time. Those are high in lecithin, lecithin, I guess is how you say it. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Um, also, you should eat salmon and sardines. I like sardines. I don't know if you like sardines or not, but I like sardines. And canned salmon. I, I like to buy canned salmon because I can make like salmon patties and they're really, really good. And you can put a little bit of cheese in those salmon patties. I use grated cheese and put it in. When I Before I was trying to stay away from carbs, I would put some bread crumbs in it or or bread. My dad, my dad used to actually run the bread under a little faucet of water, make it soggy, and then he used to crumble it into the into the meat or into the salmon or whatever we were having to make a meat patty. And he used to cut up onions, big chunks of onions. And so that's how he used to, he was a really good cook actually. Um, you can eat tuna, but you got to watch tuna because tuna is packed in oil that's not the good oil. But if you get it in the good oil, or if you drain off the bad oil and maybe add some good oil. Or get it in water. Or get it in water. We get it. Get ours in water. We don't even get it in oil. We get it in water. Because the oils that they put in it, put in the tuna is not good. Um, tofu. You can have tofu. Coconut oil and olive oil are the good oils they, they suggest. And they suggest nuts. Um, because they have a lot of protein, fat, magnesium, or you can have nut butters, but make sure your nut butters don't have sugar. And dark chocolate. But your dark chocolate is supposed to be 70% co cocoa. Cacao. 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 <laughs> Whatever. It's got darkness to it. 70%. It's supposed to be. And you're only supposed to have one square. You're not supposed to eat the whole bar. But... If you want to eat a little more, just remember it's got a lot of fat in it, and, and fat carries a lot of weight <laughs> in more ways than one. But um, it still has carbs. It's in still it, got too. carbs in it, yeah. Or you could have yogurt, but it should be a Greek yogurt, and with no fruit in your yogurt. Don't. Um, you can put your own fruit in, but don't buy it with the fruit because they've got sugars and things in there that they add. You don't want that. And you can have avocados and olives. And you're supposed to avoid junk food. And what's considered junk food? Anything that's prepackaged is really junk food. And processed. And processed because it's, yeah. And so the foods that I should be eating are pretty close to what I was already eating, like on keto. But I can add beans and lentils and quinoa. And I could add oatmeal if I wish. I haven't had oatmeal in so long, I don't even know if I like oatmeal. I never used to care for oatmeal, so I don't know. I used to eat cream of wheat. I liked cream of wheat better, to be honest. And um, I remember the advertisement, I want my maple. <laughs> I thought that stuff was really good because it looked fluffy and foamy like my coffee does when I beat it. But all it was was cooked cereal with a maple flavor, and I didn't really like it. My mother bought it for me once, but I never had, to, I never asked for it again. So that's my video for today. I guess that was everything I had written on here, um, pretty much. So I hope you all had a great day.
it's raining outside and it's cold. But I turned the heater on in here, so Jim is probably roasting. So we'll be all done. I'll say goodbye so he can go where it's cooler and I have to go put my sweater on. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Thank you.